Hey, what's up guys it's Oyan here back with another video so guys in this video I'm going to talk about Lineage OS 14.1 for Micromax or Uteleventures U Euphoria and we already know that the phone is stuck on Android 5.1.1 Cyanogen mode 12.1 or if in case you are using the stock Android ROM on your phone and it seems like Rahul Sharma has totally forgotten that there exists a phone whose name is U Euphoria from the U Televentures and it was promised that it will get the marshmallow update but it seems like it's all gone and the company is at the end and it's almost dead now and it has come up with a black Eureka so let's get started guys and tell you what are the cool features on the U Euphoria's 14.1 Lineage OS and I also take you through all the features about it and whether it's worth upgrading or not. So here we go guys. So guys. First and foremost, let me confirm that I'm running Lineage OS 14.1 on this phone. So let's go to settings, about the phones, and here you go guys. As you can see, the Android version is 7.1.2, which is the latest guys. And it is learning Lineage OS 14.1. And the, you know what's the best part? The Android security level is of the security patch level is May 5th 2015 and let me tell you that you will also get updates regular updates so let me just turn on my Wi-Fi and prove you that I have got updates but I haven't yet installed it so here I go to the about phones again then lineage OS updates and as you can see guys I have got two updates and you can see the dates respectively one on 24th and one on 31st and I haven't yet up or like upgraded it but I'll soon do it so that's a very big plus point at least it provides you upgrade guys not like the Cyanogen Mode 12.1 or the stock Android 5.1.1 so that's a very good news guys when it comes to providing you regular updates it will do your job Anyways guys, other than that, you will get all the regular features of Android Nougat and in case you don't know, I'll provide a direct link about all the like features and yes, it has the support for dual window guys. As you can see, I can do multitasking, I can just like do like this, I can wait, let me just show you, I can drag it over here and then I can like choose any other thing like the gallery okay so as you can see guys two applications are working simultaneously as you can see so that's a very big plus point guys when it comes to U euphoria we just have a 2 GB RAM and it's running 7.1.2 absolutely fine and I gotta say the battery life of this ROM is far more better than what we used to get in Cyanogen mode 12.1 one thing that you might be disappointed with is that it doesn't support Steam yet but you can I am hoping that sooner or later you'll get the theme app on the Lineage OS 2 but at present there is no option to download Cyanogen mode themes or Lineage OS themes on this phone and it is not officially available in 14.1 Lineage OS 2 so you gotta wait for that anyways talking about the call and reception it works absolutely fine there's no problem whatsoever even my geo sim if in case you're concerned LTE is supported but if in case you think it shows LTE that means you didn't uh, didn't have to install the my geo app or the geo connect app with which you call you or actually have to like the geo voice you have to install it in case you want to call but it shows LTE there I don't know what happens but yeah geosim works and the net works fine and also the YouTube works fine there's no problem there's no hiccup whatsoever it's far more better than the Cyanogen mode 12.1 to be very honest with you guys and the phone runs smooth no problem there at all talking about the camera quality which you might be concerned with let me show you how the camera quality looks like so here I'm taking a photo and there's like indoor lighting condition obviously there are better lighting conditions but yeah let me just show you how good the photo looks let me just turn out the yep here we go so let me just rotate okay 
it's not rotating for some reason anyways so as you can see guys the quality is really really good and I gotta say it's far better than the 12.1 Cyanogen camera which was in my point of view a bit buggy so see the colors guys as you can see the color okay where did I yup so you can see the color details guys it's very good there's no problem with that so it's actually more vivid than the original so it tends to oversaturate but it looks good to the eyes guys so no problems there guys I can actually set this as my wallpaper it's so vivid as you can see guys it looks amazing guys anyways talking about the video playback or shooting videos you can also do that and here you can change all the options you have video you have paranormal mode and so on so the video looks like this as you can see the clarity let me just shoot a small video as you can see I'm just shaking it so that you can understand how the stability is so yeah let me just show you that too Wait. here's the video guys for you let me just play with the stock player so guys, so guys, the voice is also coming from the uh, uh, speakers or the microphones, whatever you might say. So the voice quality is also good. Let me just show you once again so that you can be clarified. So guys, in my point of view, the camera performance is quite good and it's better than the stock 12.1 or the stock Android 5.1.0 and I'm very satisfied with the way my phone has been working and I have installed this room for about a month now and you might be wondering why haven't I made a video because I like testing the phone thoroughly before making any videos so if in case you have any other problems or if in case you're thinking the gaming experience isn't that great yes the gaming experience isn't that great but it lags a bit but it does the job like for example if I place score hero for example it just lags a bit but let me just show you the gaming performance so suppose I have not used this phone for a while I was using the Redmi Note 3 so uh, I just forgot how the gaming experience was of this phone so let's try out so as you can see guys and <coughs> the 3d <coughs> view it's smooth actually it's not that laggy and as you can see <coughs> but when initial in initial stages guys the phone was lagging a bit I don't know why even if when I used to like lock my phone like this it never unlocked again until and unless I like ripped off the battery then attached it again and then the phone came into life but now the phone seems to work absolutely fine and I'm hoping that it's just the initial bugs and it will go once we get the latest updates on lineage OS and as you already saw that I have got an update but I haven't yet installed it but yeah I am think the all the problems which you face but the main things that is number one the performance the performance is great the camera is great it is getting regular updates it's better than the lineage OS to, uh, sorry it's better than the Cyanogen mode 12.1 and the call and reception quality which is one of the crucial things it is great and yes guys the GeoSim works absolutely fine you need to install the Google Play services and if in case you want this room I'll provide a direct link in the description down below so you needn't have to worry to search it I'll provide the official link and yes guys it's not a custom room it's the official lineage OS for you euphoria 5010 so if I consider looking at the looks department of the ROM, it's far more better than the Cyanogen Mode 12.1 or the stock Android 5.1.1. And if honestly guys, the Cyanogen Mode 12.1 was very buggy, it used to lag a lot, but with this ROM guys, 14.1 Lineage OS, the phone seems to perform better, smoother than what we used to experience with the stock or the Cyanogen Mode. And 
have been using this phone for a while now and it was my daily driver a year back and I honestly stopped using this phone because of the Cyanogen Mod 12.1 and the promise not delivered by Rahul Sharma of upgrading it to Marshmallow and then I bought the Redmi Note 3. So yeah, the phone is very good guys now and it feels amazing to use once again because honestly guys I love this phone a lot but after the promise not been kept and the lags that it used to go through it just became worse and worse day by day and talking about the aesthetics or the looks department let me just show you few of them first the status bar so the status bar has been redesigned guys it's the stock nougat status bar as you can see you get the quick toggles over here and and they are functional guys as you can see you can just tap on them okay I'm just watching yep so as you can see guys you just can tap on them and they are exactly functional and when you just do like this you can also get the all other toggles and you just can swipe to get other toggles here you can edit them over here if you want to do that then if I go to settings menu guys you can see that you get a detailed setting with information like Wi-Fi is connected to HelloNet then display adaptive brightness is off notifications you can see the sound ringing and the, if you consider looking at the storage guys you can see the storage left you can see the Android version straight from here so that's quite good improvements and here you can see a swipe menu guys where you can see all the things from here so that's a good improvement but it has been removed once again in Android oh I don't know why and you also get the quick reply functionality over here and as I already said it supports multitasking so that's a good news guys and the phone seems to perform very good and one good thing guys the apps install insanely fast guys I'm not kidding guys the apps install really fast on Android new guys and if in case you have watched my MIUI 9's video the part 2 I have discussed all the things about the Android 7.0 which are coming with MIUI but most of them are Android 7.0 features in general so I am experiencing those features enrichments in my phone with this new 7.1.2 and it's also the latest guys latest 7.1.2 and in you also getting the updates okay I'm talking too much but yeah you also get some of the features that you loved in usual Euphoria that is in Cyanogen mode the double tap works and also there are a few cool things like if you do like this the flashlight gets turned on and if you again do it turns off if I do see the camera so as you can see guys the camera just turned on so that's quite neat things that you can do with it and there are ton of settings which you can play with and I'll if you want I'll make a separate video regarding all the detailed features but if you go to the, through the settings guys you can yourself find out where it is what and they are really productive and even in, in the video section guys you now get one thing let me just show you uh, the high frame it doesn't work the slow motion that doesn't work so much but it does the job but it doesn't like it shows slow motions up to like 120 frame per second it is not that you just get simple slow motion videos guys and this stabilization guys works very well honestly guys the stabilization works very well as you saw the video I made from here the stabilization was on and hence you saw a so stable video otherwise you wouldn't have got such a stable video so if in case you love this video guys please give a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos like this and if in case you want a tutorial how to install this room do let me know I'll try to make a separate video for that and until then guys have a nice day and once again if this video is helpful please subscribe to my channel it's on from the tech info house signing off hope to see you in my next video it was wonderful talking to you guys hope to see you in my next video guys